Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to talk bricks. Today we're talking This Week in Bonus LEGO News, where every Saturday I bring you the LEGO stories you need to know. We've got another huge week of reveals from LEGO City, Marvel, and Spider-Man No Way Home, LEGO Ideas Seinfeld, and LEGO Technic, plus what's going on with the Bricklink Designer Program and Boba Fett Starship. And I'll kick off another round of the weekly giveaway. Just subscribe and leave a comment about this week's news. And of course, I'm back with LEGO deals from Amazon and across the web, so if you want to pick anything up to support the channel, there's links in the description below. First up over Zappy, we've got the Land Rover Defender for 30% off with code DEFENDER, and the LEGO Ninjago Hydro Bound for 12% off with code Ninjago. Plus Lego Marvel the Guardian Ship for 10% off with code Marvel Ship. Next at Walmart, the Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts Great Hall is 20% off. The Lego Super Mario Propeller Mario Power Up Pack is 40% off. And the Lego Ideas Treehouse is 15% off. At Target, the Lego Classic Green Base Blade is 25% off. And over at Amazon, the Lego City Cargo Train is 22% off. Plus over at Lego, you can get the free Adidas Original Superstar gift with purchase with purchases over $85. And in addition to the Adidas shoe, there's plenty more fun July releases to pick up, including the previously exclusive gift with purchase Ninjago 10th Anniversary Brickhead. So if you want to pick up any of these deals and support the channel, there's links in the description below. Next up, we got a ton of huge reveals from LEGO Marvel, including the sets from Spider-Man No Way Home that we have to break down. First up, we got Spider-Man's Drone Duel with 198 pieces, retailing for $20. This set is inspired by Spider-Man Homecoming, but I don't exactly remember a black and gold suit Spider-Man with this gold drone. This set, of course, features the drone in a face-off with the vulture, and I really like the look and posability of the new vulture wings. For the drone, you can put Spider-Man inside, and overall, I do like the black and gold color scheme. This set features two minifigures including this black and gold suit Spider-Man, which has tons of great technological detail. And from what we've seen of other toys, it looks like this one may be in the new movie. And the new version of Vulture looks awesome with a great detailed print on the face and the torso. Next up, we've got Spider-Man at the Sanctorum Workshop with 355 pieces, retailing for $40. And it looks like Spider-Man and Doctor Strange and Wong will be crossing paths in the movie. The main build for this set is an awesome playstyle set build of the Sanctum Workshop, complete with all sorts of tools and shelving filled with all sorts of artifacts. And at the center, there seems to be some sort of portal, and when the entire thing is flipped around, there seems to be some sort of cave scene. The other build is referred to as a giant bug monster, and I like the look of this with all of its posability. This set includes four minifigures. On the right, we've got the new version of Spider-Man for the movie with awesome prints and dual-molded legs, plus this awesome new version of Wong with great prints on the torso, legs, and a new face. On the left, we've got the standout to me, which is that awesome new version of Doctor Strange with printing on the hair and that epic new cape piece, plus a great figure for MJ. Next from the 4 plus line, we've got Spider-Man versus Mysterio's drone attack with 73 pieces retailing for $20. This one's inspired by Spider-Man Far From Home and it's a really great 4 plus set. While the builds for the car and drone are certainly simplified, it gets the job done and this set does come with three amazing minifigures. On the left we finally have a version of Spider-Man from the movie with the black accents and on the right we've got an updated version color corrected for Mysterio. Not to mention a great Nick Fury. And Lego's Australia site featured a couple more Marvel sets. First up from the What If show we've got Captain Carter and the Hydra Stomper with 343 pieces retailing for $30. And this feature Steve Rogers in an Iron Man style suit and is the second large mech in the What If line. That being said, I think this one has a pretty nice look with lots of posability and a great printed headpiece. This set comes with three minifigures. On the right, we've got the Avengers Tower version of Red Skull, a great new version of Steve Rogers, and this awesome Captain Britain. I love her printed shield and we're getting another version of her in the minifigure series. Plus, there's a cool transparent Minecraft head for the Tesseract. Next up, we've got Brothor's new Asgard with 265 pieces retailing for $30. This set's another awesome vignette of Thor's place from New Asgard, complete with the New Asgard sign. The place is totally disheveled with pizza and bottles everywhere, but there's tons of accessories to add detail, including a small build for the TV, which features a sticker of a Legoized Fortnite, plus a picture featuring Valkyrie. This set also comes with three exclusive characters. On the right, we've got a less chiseled version of Thor with the detailed printing on the legs, this hilarious version of Korg in a Hawaiian shirt with a new headpiece, and a new headprint for Meek. And if you want to check out the sets in more detail and support the channel, I've left links in the description below. Next up today on social media, we got our first tease for the upcoming Lego Ideas Seinfeld Jerry's Apartment set. Yada 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 is of course a classic joke from the show, and depicted below are the backs of the five characters from the original submission. From left to right, we've got Kramer, George, Jerry, Elaine, and Newman, and it does look like Jerry's hair might be a new mold. While this is just a tease, we'll likely get the full reveal next week, and I'm really curious to see how this one will turn out, what Easter eggs they'll include, and how the characters look. But we'll just have to yada 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 our way till next week. Next up in Star Wars news, there was a lot of controversy coming out of the announcement of the latest sets, especially the name change Boba Fett Starship. Ever since the original wave of LEGO sets, LEGO has produced many versions of this classic ship known as the Slave One, leaving many fans confused as the recent 20th anniversary edition came out just in 2019. In conversations with the LEGO Star Wars team, it turns out that Disney had requested this change specifically, and the LEGO Star Wars design director said it's probably not something which has been announced publicly, but is something that Disney doesn't want to use anymore. While we don't have all the exact 
fact reasoning, it's clear Disney wants to distance itself from this name, and we'll have to see if we find out more about this in the future. Also revealed this week is the pickup truck with 1,677 pieces retailing for $200. And this set's set number is sadly the same as the rumored DeLorean, which makes me think this one might not be happening. This latest creator expert car is the first one to not be based off of a well-known model, and instead features a generic vintage pickup truck with lots of great shaping and curves. There's of course a full interior with steering. The hood can be opened to reveal the detailed engine. It can also attach different accessories, including this wreath at the front. And there are tons of fun accessories to bring this model to life, like a watering can, wheelbarrow, and potted flowers, red tomatoes and white and orange carrots, plus a milk jug, creative pumpkins, and a fresh from the farm sign. While of course I wish this was a DeLorean, I think that the build looks really great, and all of those accessories definitely add a lot of value. And this set's actually available for pre-order now, so if you want to pick it up and support the channel, there's a link in the description below. This week we also got all the official photos for the latest LEGO City sub-themed stunts, which looks like a ton of fun. First up we got the stunt show arena with 668 pieces, retailing for $100. And they really pack a ton into this one, and putting together all the builds is really quite a show. There's a giant ramp to launch you through the ring, and the motorcycles themselves are the main gimmick of this line with this awesome pullback feature. And on top of that, there's two builds for monster trucks and cars for them to drive over and crush, which is really neat. This set includes seven minifigures, and I especially love some of these wilder new prints. Next up, we've got the stunt show truck with 420 pieces, retailing for $70. The truck comes apart into sections, and you jump the motorcycle to hit the targets to knock the clown into the dunk tank, which features recolored anglerfish. And you can use the ramps to jump the truck, and everything can be stored on the truck bed. This set includes four minifigures, and I especially love the design for the clown, and this one for the figure that drives the motorcycle. Next up, we've got the stunt park with 170 pieces, retailing for $40. The park includes multiple elements, including an epic jump over fire and over this pit with a giant spider. And it's cool that you can reconfigure the jump in lots of different ways. And this set includes two minifigures. Next up, we've got the stunt competition with 73 pieces, retailing for $30. The build here is a bit simple, as there's one large jump featuring a ring of fire. But it's great that you get two motorcycles. And there's two more minifigures with great prints. There's also a series of six individual stunt bikes, each retailing for $8. Each of the sets comes with one of the new bikes, as well as one awesome character, and there's some really unique designs here that I love. My favorite's the Rocket Stunt Bike, as it features a new minifigure for Rocket Racer from the classic game Lego Racers, and is also a sequel to the version of the character from Series 18. And of course, my other favorite's the Chicken Stunt Bike, with this hilarious version of Clemens in a chicken suit. All these sets will be coming out on October 1st, and if you want to pick them up and support the channel, there's links in the description below. This week, we also got the July store calendar with tons of promotions. First up, now through the 14th, you can get this free Adidas original Superstar shoe with purchases over $85, and I really like this one. Next, from the 12th through the 18th, they're bringing back the Charles Dickens tribute set with purchases over $150 that we saw last year around the holidays, which overall was a good one. And from the 16th through the 25th, with purchases over $40, you can choose either the LEGO Friends Emma's Magical Box or LEGO City Skater Polybags. Or if you want to support the channel, there's a link to buy it online. Next up, July 1st marked the start of the pre-ordering for round one of the Bricklink Designer Program. And the sets that were fully funded were the Castle in the Forest, Great Fishing Boat, Sheriff Safe, Pursuit of Flight, and Kakapo, leaving the Particle Accelerator and Bionicle Legend sets unfunded, and the Observatory moved to a future round. There was a ton of fan interest, with the Castle in the Forest selling out after 40 minutes and the Great Fishing Boat shortly after, with the Sheriff Safe and Pursuit of Flight selling out hours later. Only 5,000 of each project were available for pre-order, and this first round was set to go through early August, so I have to imagine that they were just as surprised as fans were by this immense demand. And there were definitely fans like myself that were a bit upset that they missed out on certain projects they really wanted. And thanks to a post on social media, it looks like Bricklink is listening. As they said, we've read your comments and frustrations, and we hear you. Stay tuned for an update next week. As you are allowed to pre-order as many as five of each item, many are speculating that they may simply just cancel some of those orders. But I'm hopeful that there's just going to be more quantity available, and that I may get my hands on that castle after all. Also revealed this week, we've got three more large-scale builds from LEGO Technic. First up, we've got the Ford F-150 Raptor with 1,379 pieces, retailing for $100. Overall, I really like the way they captured the truck's design, especially the details at the front grille. Included in the build, there's a V6 engine with moving pistons, suspension on all the wheels, and steering. And at $100, it's a pretty decent size. And if you want to pre-order this one and support the channel, there's a link down in the description below. Next up, we've got the heavy-duty tow truck with 2,017 pieces, retailing for $150. While I like the build for the truck, I really like all these pneumatic functions, where you can extend, lift, and move the boom. You can rotate the crane, and there's a working winch and outriggers. And I think you'll have a lot of fun with the functions. And finally, the 4x4 Mercedes-Benz Zetros trial truck with 2,110 pieces, retailing for $300. This truck also looks great, and I especially love the Mercedes logo on the shield piece. But the fun for me here is that it's completely motorized using their Control Plus system, where you can operate the vehicle using your phone to steer it around and operate the differential locking. So there you have it, folks. That was this week in bonus LEGO news. And considering LEGO Con was last week, there was a ton to break down this week. Out of everything, 
anything here, I'm probably most excited for the Lego Marvel sets as the superheroes line has always been one of my favorites. But I also can't wait to see the reveal of the new Lego Ideas Seinfeld set and pick all these sets up when they come out later this year. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below as it really helps the channel. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next Saturday with even more Lego news. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all the stories? And which one are you most excited about? And now we've got this week's giveaway winner. Congratulations! And be sure to email me from the About page on my channel so we can coordinate about the prize. And if you want to enter this week's round, just leave me a comment about this week's news. You must be a subscriber to win and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one. Hey guys, Michael here. Click and watch last week's video featuring LEGO Con and huge reveals from LEGO Star Wars and LEGO Super Mario. And don't forget to subscribe.